distribution of franchise mm, i would like to as far as my understanding is concerned i'm sure that the government is uh, working out to find a solution that how the reform of MECL is taking place. That is one of them. I have to take it in a positive note for myself. In that process, sometimes uh, there are different options, there are different ways which comes along the way before you take the decisions. So whatever decisions that the government has to take, it has to keep in mind that number one, the interest of the corporation, Number two, the interest of the people who are working in the, in the corporation. Number three, it's for the interest of the government. And number four, which I feel is the first, the interest of the people and the state as a well. whole. These are the three, you know, criteria which the government, whenever it takes any decision, it has to keep in mind to take all those into consideration. So I feel that as far as this distribution franchisee. Maybe some proposals have come from those agencies which uh, they feel that a franchisee can be the option for the government to advise the MECL to go in that manner. I understand that the funding agency, which is the REC, um, is looking for a 100% guarantee or a budgetary proposal which has to be in place that the government should keep, you know, every year. Which I understand that around 120 crores every year they have to repay as far as the loan is concerned. And I think uh, which they have the moratorium about three years. Post three years, uh, maybe I think around 300 crores a month. So, Taking that loan, is that the final solution for the reforms of MECL? Well, I see there's a little bit of grey area there. So the government has to examine properly uh, before they take such a kind of decisions. Because if they go for a franchisee, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the fate of the, those employees who are there will be a big question. And in return, the MECL will have another burden over a burden that they have already. So I feel that is what uh, the government has to examine as far as this matter is concerned, with a lot of, you know, uh, constraints that they have to take before they take a final call on this one. So for my side, I feel that uh, as far as this franchise is concerned, the government should relook into it. And uh, I think uh, the... Uh, matter is uh, really a very very uh, crucial way and uh, uh, matter has to be very serious so i've been meeting with uh, chief minister also we have discussed about this mm -hmm. and uh, i've been meeting different groups different organizations from time to time so yeah every views and opinions has to be taken into a, a concession and uh, then you know giving you uh, the clear picture about what the decision that you want to take as far as the reform of MECL. Because this is very long pending issue. In fact, now what we, we inherited right from the past. So these things we have to stop at any point of view. And uh, I, I think, I think uh, the government will find out a way for this. See, uh, I know what does Baden means when he said, when he said UDP has failed. I, I don't know. I mean, I will not just assume that what is is there in his mind. Let him come out clearly, like what he wants. I think. Uh, I think I'll, I'll be very happy if Pading would have just called me. Also, what is you know there in his mind? But however, UDP, we are in a coalition government. We are part and partners in the MDA government. We will play our role in a very constructive manner. This is what I would like to tell you. Very clear. Uh, the the MECL uh, 
The government has not taken any decision as far as MEC franchisee is concerned. There are few issues, I think if you are also aware, you have been informed that on the, I think the 31st of March or April or 1st of May, I have sent a 10 points letter to the Honorable Chief Minister addressing concerns about the allegation accusations which has appeared in the media reports from time to time, which really concerns me and the party as a whole. And in that, the Chief Minister has responded and he has already briefed all the media also that an inquiry committee has been constituted. An inquiry team has been constituted which will look into the, you know, the depth of all these allegations and accusations, whether it is right or wrong. That is the first part. The second part, as, and let me make it very clear, as far as this uh, uh, Franchisee is concerned. Distribution franchisee is concerned. Again, I have sent a letter on the 2nd of this May, uh, this June, to the Honorable Chief Minister addressing equal concern about the MDCL. And I have requested him to look into it and consider it as a most urgent. So that is what the role we are going to play. So whenever we are in the government, we should always be there to play a constructive role. That is our role we have to play. Whenever we find anything wrong anywhere, we will never, you know, stay back or, you know, relax and uh, just consider that we are in a coalition. Whenever we find something or the other within the government, be it anyone, we will address the issues. But since we are in the coalition, we will address internally with the concern. And, uh, the head of the team is the chief minister. So we have to address the chief minister whenever the, whenever these issues come up from time to time. So we are not sitting idle. We are not.